ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Chan here for Forever Football DRFC, your Dogs Rovers fan channel. It is match review time. I do realise this is, you know, 24 hours after it happened, but honestly, I was just, I just felt so ill that night. I just couldn't film anything. I couldn't film anything for the whole of today. Um, it's only now that I can sort of feel up to filming something. Um... <laughs> I will also try and get the match vlog up either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, it will be up before the preview sort of date, which is like Friday, etc. Uh, so I'll try and get the vlog up before Friday from Cambridge. But um, but yeah, this one's all about the, the Cambridge match. It was a 1-1 draw. And um, in terms of the performance, in terms of how I would rate it, I would say that first off... In terms of attack, we were nowhere near good enough. I think first half felt like just sideways and backwards, and it didn't feel like there was no real end product to it. And you know, we barely had it. We didn't even really have a shot. Neither did Cambridge. They only scored because of an own goal from Dan Gardner, who, you know, he came, he's come out on public on social media and apologised. He said he was playing through an injury, so he's come out and apologised. You know, yes, Dan Gardner had a very bad game, but you know, when you're playing through injury, and you know, because we haven't got the bodies that we've got. It, it 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 makes you think, you know, where was the depth in the transfer window? You know, we brought in some players that when we first came in, they were decent quality. Uh, other players, there were sort of depth players. Other players were just development players. Dan Gardner's one of them that I don't... And it's nothing against Dan Gardner. I don't think he's a starter week in, week out. And that's nothing against Dan Gardner. I think he's someone who will provide a lot of depth to the squad. Uh, but he won't start week in, week out. I think he might know that. I think the club may know that. I think the manager may know that with the players that we've got ahead of him. But I just think Dan Gardner's not one of those players that will start in week in, week out. And in my opinion, in terms of bringing in depth, we should have brought in a lot more depth of the quality of the of the, of the starting lineup week in, week out. We should have brought in that kind of quality of depth in the squad. But where's well, obviously no money, no depth, no money. So um, well, it should be the way around: no money, no depth. <laughs> um, but no, it's nothing against Dan Gardner because I think Dan Gardner on his best day can perform well, really well, and, and I've got no doubt, and I've got confidence in Dan Gardner. But I think today was just one of those days where he was playing through an injury and he couldn't really make an impact apart from the own goal, which, in my opinion, was preventable. Um, then the second half rolled around, and we actually looked a bit better. We actually looked a lot better. Uh, we had a bit more attack about us. We had a bit more intent about us. But how many times this season have we done that? Where we've got a goal down, or it's been a half, we haven't scored, and shown any attack. And the second half, we come out a completely different team. Because in the second half, we looked a lot better. Um, Ethan Galbraith's goal. Oh, my God. And that player, Ethan Galbraith, he's too good for League One. He's too good for League One, I swear to God. Ethan Galbraith was amazing on that game. Absolutely astonishing. Um, but we, again, just no final product on the chance that we could have created. We probably should have won that game on the second half alone. But again, just nothing really coming from it. So let's go into player ratings then. Uh, Dahlberg, I've given a 7. Aloha, a 5. Anderson, 6. Williams, 6. Galbraith, 9. Man, man of the match by a long while. Smith and Bostock, 7. Vilka, 7. Gardner, 5. Hawula, 6. Uh, to do 6 as well. And then uh, we go into the substitutions. Of course, we did make uh, substitutions in that match. Uh, obviously, Dan Gardner coming off in the 39th minute. Um, you know, very early substitution. And I think the substitution was probably needed, by the way. I will say that as well. I think the substitution was needed. Uh, so, Carl Noll coming on. I'll give him a six. Um, and, of course, Thiago Chakur coming on for John Bostock with about ten minutes to go. I think Thiago probably a five. Didn't really have much of an impact, to be perfectly honest. Um, so, we've got Charlton this weekend. We've got Charlton, which is going to be an interesting one. Um, looking at the match we've got next, then, in all competitions. Uh, we've got Charlton in the league. Then we've got Crewe in the league on the 2nd of November. Both of them away games. Then we're away at Scunthorpe in the FA Cup. Then we're away at Scunthorpe again in the EFL Trophy, the Papa John's Trophy. I don't cover the Papa John's Trophy games. To, it's not because I don't like the cup. I, I, it, for me, it's just... Uh, a personal decision. I don't like to cover the Papa John's Trophy. 
Uh, and then, of course, Fleetwood, which might be getting called off. So the next league game could be Lincoln City at home. So uh, a decent run of games in all competitions. We should hopefully pick up points in all of them. Hopefully get through the FA Cup. Hopefully get the win over Scunthorpe. And let's see what happens. But there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much. My name is Aaron Chandler from Forever Football. Dear FC, keep it on the Rovers' life. And that, my friends, full time. Rovers side die. Thank you very much. And I'll see you later. Rovers,